Howdy doodly. Let's see if there's a roster update. How's that sound? You know, why not? Here we go. There... Really? Well then. There's no way. I know- what? I've definitely done some kind of roster- maybe it's an account thing? I- I really don't know, but I feel like I've done it on this account too. Whatever. To be honest, I still have not decided which category I'm going to use yet today. So, I will decide when we get in there, I suppose. Alright, so I will randomize the team here once again and we get- BOOM! The Flyers. Alright, I was actually going to- well, I didn't, so I don't know. But uh, it was it was crossed my mind for sure. I think it's kind of crazy how they have an option for stars only when it comes to the waiver wire. You know, if you want to get waiver notifications, who's putting star players through waivers? You know, like what what do we define as a star player? Also, we got number two. So basically, everyone's on the board except for McDavid. Okay, here we go. Who will we pick? I'm gonna go. Hmm. Which one should we go? Physical was Ovechkin would have been prime. Same with Victor Hedman, damn. We could have actually had a pretty good team. Defense maybe come later, you know, we already had a rough one with physical. Defense might still be able to get a pretty good team actually, but let's go with, let's go with, hmm, skating, fine. All right, I've decided we're going with skating. So time to find out who all the, well, I can probably sort by overall for now and then just kind of go based off of the skating category, which I am kind of surprised Drysdale only has four stars. But nonetheless, I've already made up my mind. I'm taking Nate Mack, baby. So, wow. Basically, all of the five-star skaters are gone here. Oh, boy. Is there even going to be enough? Can we even go by this category? Well, never mind. That's not how it works. I don't just take five stars. But if there is no more five stars, and then we proceed to the four and a half. Oh, wow, there is. There's only three more. So basically guaranteed we have to take them unless somebody else drafts them, but yeah, here we go. I'm going to take Ehlers as the priority here, and then I'll probably take Kapanen, honestly. Maybe Duchesne. We'll see. I'm not really sure. It all depends. Well, our next pick is essentially right away, so do I want to take Duchesne? Could have another center right off the bat, so maybe I will. Or do we take Kapanen? I don't know. I think maybe we'll take Kapanen, actually. You know what? I'm also going to take a goalie right now, and I am going to draft... Wow, Dobby's up to 85 overall. Honestly, understandable. Blackwood's at 85. Love to see it. That's good stuff. And you know what? I'm going to wait on a goalie, and I'm going to either take Dobby or Blackwood. They got that overall bump, and I would love for them to be a part of the team. So, once again, I can sort by either forwards or defense because we want to have a fighting chance. Duchesne still is not gone, so I guess he's coming to the team. All right, goalies. We've got these two. We got Varlamov. Oh, did they? Oh, never mind. I thought they went. I was going to say, that's crazy. I'm just going to take Mackenzie Blackwood, honestly. Yeah, there we go. 85 overall. Is he the best goalie we could have taken? No. Will he get the job done? Hopefully. I don't really know how he sims. So there is a bunch of four and a half star skaters here. We do need a left winger so that we can complete that first line. We also don't have a single defenseman yet. So Goss Despair looking real tempting right now. But Timothy Jimothy, how far down can we go with four and a half? Oh, not very. All right. That's surprising, actually. Well, I guess we'll take Goss to spare. Now my question becomes, do we have any four and a half star power forwards? Probably not, right? I'm going to say, oh, we do. Evander Kane. That's our pick right there. Also a left winger. We need one of those. So we have from Grabner and up. Timothy Jimothy Oshi, man. I keep seeing his name and I want to take him, but we can't. Okay. We've got Athena CU here. 1.2 million. I know salary is not really what we're looking at here, but I mean, it's kind of tempting, you know? So right now we have two centers, two right wingers, and one left winger. So, because we are basically saying screw cap, I'm going to go with the Zook. Okay, we really need a top defenseman to go with Gostas Bear, and we have a crap ton of four-star skating defensemen here. So we have options for days, all the way up to Russell. Now, the question becomes, who is the best overall here? I've seen 83, 84 in Vlasic. That's pretty solid. Is there any 85s? There is one. And it is 
Duncan Keith. He's at the very top. So, mm, yeah, I'll take him. Why not? We still have four players here who are four and a half skating. Is What's his type? Playmaker, I want to say. Maybe he's two-way. Oh, he is two-way. That's great. I might actually take Tyler Johnson then as kind of a depth center. So, let's get him off the board now. I'm assuming those other players are still going to be there. I don't know if I want to go for offensive depth first or if I want to try taking another defenseman here soon. I feel like Athenasiou would be good for depth, but I'm kind of shocked, if, honestly, that he's a playmaker. I don't know. That's kind of steering me away right now. Guy is fast as all hell, though, so maybe. And then we got Cam Atkinson here. Huh. I'm going to take Athenasiou. Screw it. I love how that's my logic for basically every pick. Famous last words is just screw it. So there's some decent backup goaltenders here. But I'm going to take Halak, mostly because I picked him up for tonight in fantasy. He's on Boston. They're playing against the Devils. I just realized Mackenzie Blackwood is our other goalie. Interesting. Grabner and Atkinson are still here. Nobody wants these guys. Is he a sniper? He's going to be a sniper. Oh, man, that's a rough go. Okay, well, so is Atkinson. I guess we'll take Atkinson first. Grabner's probably not going to get picked still. So naturally, I'm going to try avoiding that for a little bit, save that problem for a later date, and go to defensemen. So how many four-star defensemen do we have now? There we go. Got still quite a bit, actually. Goligoski's good. Brody looks decent as well. Martinez, not bad. 83 overall. I think we got to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't think anyone else is going to take him, so let's just get this out of the way. I'll take Grabner. And, yeah, there's that. I guess, to be fair, if we can get, like, a power forward and a playmaker, then we might actually get plus one, plus three chemistry somehow. I'm going back to defensemen for now. So, we have a bunch... Actually, no, we don't have a bunch of four stars anymore, do we? No, it only comes to Mark Pizik right here. Oh, boy. Okay, so Goligoski looking like the shoe-in here. 83 overall. That cap is crazy, but... I, I don't know. We'll take them. Screw it. There it is again. My logic for every single pick. Screw it. I love that for me. I feel like it's almost just become a habit to say screw it, you know? Like, there's no other reason behind it. I'm just like, eh, screw it. Let's just take this person. Jeff Skinner at 80 overall. Oh, boy. Trevor Lewis, two-way forward. But apparently two-way forwards, not that good for chemistry, I've been hearing. So I'm trying to learn, you know, a little bit here of the franchise ways. So it's a work in progress. Jake Vertan and power forward. He's a right winger. That's okay. Four star skating. Let's try shotgun Jake on for size. I'm actually very happy that it shows player type and the stats on the same screen here. So I can really sort of see who I want without leaving this menu. Victor Rask, center playmaker with three star defense. I might still have to take him because I do want a playmaker. I want to try this whole sniper playmaker power forward combo everyone's preaching. The Wayne train though. Because I could move him up a line. And then if we picked any playmakers earlier. Then it's another right winger. But I don't know if that really matters. Ah, let's do it. Notice I used slightly different reasoning that time. Let's do it instead of screw it. I'm... Growing as a person. There only remains five defensemen that have four-star skating. So, Moore is 80 overall. Naturally, he's the best player here. Probably going to take him. And it actually looks like we're going to be within the cap, which is a little shocking to me. So, only these four left. I am actually kind of leading towards Pizik. 79 overall. 700k. Defensive defenseman. Hmm. I feel like he randomly started lighting it up at one point, didn't he? Got a few points. Maybe I'm crazy. I still don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Not even going to give it a go. And Pouliot. I'm just going to take Pizik. Yeah, that is our final pick. So now let's go put this team together. I feel like I got my fair share of power forwards. Probably fair share of snipers and playmakers. I think we should be good. We might have a decent team. I guess we'll just have to put the lines together and see... How the chemistry actually works here. I probably screwed it up and don't fully understand yet. So let me take a picture quick here. And by that I mean just a capture of that. But looking at the players that were drafted after 
don't think we're gonna have a problem with them being mixed into the lineup. I actually completely forgot we drafted Nate Mack and I am just hyped now. Guy's an absolute beautician. Line A has also really started to climb my list of liked players. He's just, that, that whole speech with the, I already liked him before, but then the whole, you know, that's textbook hockey. <laughs> that speech or interview was impeccable. He couldn't have said that any better. Also Huberdeau. I will forever give that man the praise that he deserves. He is incredible at professional stick and puck. Are you kidding me? We actually do have, well, I guess it's because they try to keep natural positions here. So if I go to scratched, we should be able to tell right away. Yeah. Shotgun Jake, get in there. All right, so now we got to try and mix these lines up in a way that we get good chemistry. What's what's all this about then? Holy! I'll take that. Oh my, okay. Screw the top pair. Look at that. No, I'll take zero plus five plus three any day of the week. Oh, I can get it on the first pair. Well, why didn't you say so, NHL? So I was totally wrong in saying that we drafted a decent amount of snipers. That was a straight up lie. And I apologize for that. I, for some reason, knew that at you had decent face-offs. I, I don't know why, but I feel like I've must have come across that before. Okay, well, I'll take plus three, plus three, plus one, plus one. That seems good to me. And then we got five, one, one. And in net, we've got Mackenzie Blackwood and Halak. So... I'm very interested to see how this team simulates and the skating draft definitely going to be better than the physical draft. I will tell you that free of charge, okay? You don't have to pay me today. So obviously I'm going to say Nate Mack gets the most points and I have I have faith in this team. I think honestly Nate Mack will put up 94 points and I think our team will get 48 wins. That's bold, but... I think we can do it. I just heard the buzzer go for the Leaf game. I was watching it, and they were up against the Ottawa Senators. Started burying them. So I decided, like every normal person, well, I'll use this time to go make a video, and then I'll come back for the third period. So, yeah, I should actually make it with pretty good timing. So I left at the right time. Well, we came out of the gate hot, really slowed down there, and now let's see if we can start to... Oh yeah, it looks like we're starting to pull away. It was just two fluky losses, obviously. I am very intrigued, actually, though, to see how Mackenzie Blackwood simulates because that overall bump and... I feel like every player simulates differently. Like, there's some players that have good overalls, but they will still consistently simulate horribly. All right, so we just got shut out two games in a row, and now we win one nothing. Where's the offense at? Found it. Honestly, our record isn't really as good as I expected it would be. But, I don't know, I guess there's still lots of time to pull away. But there's also lots of time to collapse. Like that. What the hell's that all about? 4 nothing, and then 5 nothing, And then Tampa, once again, is where we find our offense. Why? So I guess every time we lose games, we get shut out. And, um, well, never mind. 23? 23, 20 and 4! What the hell is that? Okay, I just moved Ehlers up. I actually made quite a few line changes here, but yeah, there you have it. So we lost our plus three on line one. Whatever. It is what it is. On defense, I don't know if I should change anything up here. I think we should still be fine. I really don't want to lose that plus five. So maybe I'll just do that. And then there, I'll go for a plus three. So we got plus five and plus three instead and yeah, I don't know. Maybe Blackwood isn't simulating so well. I guess we'll find out at the end of the year, but I just try to shuffle things up a bit and see what happens. Also, Duchesne is leading the team right now. Interesting. I do think that I caught it early enough that if, you know, things were going to change from these lines, then we will still flourish from it. We have enough time to really pull it back. But yeah, I, I'm kind of shocked. I guess maybe... Having Grabner on the first line wasn't the best idea. Harold Harris has been fired from the Montreal Canadiens. For some reason, Harold Harris just made me think of Captain Underpants. I remember when I was younger, I used to get those books all the time at those like scholastic book fair things or whatever they're called. Then you have to like flip the page quick to make it look like an animation's happening. I'd rip the page nine out of 10 times. Let's enter the trade deadline just to see who's on the block. I am curious. Okay, Duchesne's on the block apparently. Barry, Muzzin, Vander Kane, Stahl, Allmark, Atkinson. Is it normally like a lot of your own players like this? Because I don't remember it being like this before. 
But the last two times I've come in to check, it's been like that. Two firsts for Jake Muzzin and a third. That is a fleece and a half. Tyson Berry in exchange for a first, Nick Robertson, a third, and that guy. All right, the NHL regular season has ended. So let's stop the simulation. We did make the playoffs. Not super surprised about that. Let's see what ended up happening in the regular season here. So we finished with a record of 46, 30, and 6. I think I said we were going to get 48 wins. So I was just off. We also... Na oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong team. I was going to say narrowly squeaked into the playoffs. Holy crap. But no, we are Philadelphia. We did all right. 98 points is good enough for 8th in the entire league. Okay, let's see. Who made the playoffs? Was it anyone ridiculous? I think 17 is the last one. So that's really not that bad. Okay, cool. I'm also very disappointed that Nate Mack only got 72 points. Still led the team, but 72 is just not going to cut it. All right, we didn't really have as much offense going as I thought we would have. Duchesne put up 66. Gostas Bear with 65. The plus 5 clearly helped this man. Cam Atkinson put up 64, which is pretty good, actually. Ehlers put up 62. The Wayne Train put up 50. We got E. Kane with 48. All right, I'll just scroll down the list here. And there you have it. I think I probably did really harm... McKinnon's chances at the beginning of the year by putting Grabner on his line. But anyway, goalies, we've got a 918, 248 for Mackenzie Blackwood with five, uh, never mind, I was going to say five shutouts, nine shutouts. That's very impressive. 34 wins. And Halak did okay. I guess those are decent backup stats. But yeah, Blackwood simulates pretty good, I guess. Here is the league lead here for the entire NHL. Just go through the first page there, and then wrong one. If we go to goalies, here are the leading goalies for the year. All right, so let's simulate the playoffs and see what happens. Will we have a first round exit? Yes. We got the Islanders here. Round one. All right, simulate up to this date. How will this go? We get off to a strong start. Okay, looking good so far. I don't care about the AHL. What? What do I look like? Biz Nasty? There we go. Decent. Okay, let's keep going. Pittsburgh. Round two. Battle of Pennsylvania here. Looking good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Never mind. They've had a pretty good start to both rounds here. Kind of collapsed a bit, but then managed to pull it back. Okay, this one's even to start. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah, that's all she wrote. Okay, well, made it to the conference finals. That's not bad. And the Calgary Floms are yours. Stanley Cup champions. Ontario Reign, which, funny enough, Biz Nasty, I'm pretty sure he won the Calder with the Ontario Reign. So there you have it. Yeah, Mac did a little bit better in the playoffs here. He was point a game. Well, yeah, just over point a game there. 16 games and 17 points. So good for you, Nate. And then let's go check out the Calgary Flames roster because I want to see... Who they have. What made them so unbelievably good that they were able to win a Stanley Cup. Calgary Flames. Here we go. Kuznetsov with 72 points. Look at that. All right. Patches, 71. Pavelski. They ended up getting... That's why right there. They got Timothy Jimothy. That explains everything. Okay. Well, let's keep going through the list here. So their team is okay. I don't know. They must have a really good goalie. Well, yeah. Rask, I guess, is pretty good. They got Anton Forsberg as the backup. I don't know. Time for the awards. So we basically know all this. I will also check out New Jersey's roster briefly after this. Just go through the awards here. Love to see it. Goss Despair back on the Flyers. Wins himself the James Norris. Kaprizov on the Knights gets the Calder. Rask. Yeah, okay. So Gibson. Murphy. That is quite the name. Lalancet. Lalancet? That's interesting. Barkov with the Selkie. Pretty much as per usual, Ted Lindsay to Eichel, Crosby with the Rocket Richard. So the New Jersey Devils, the President's Trophy winning Devils, also only got 73 points out of their top guy here. So 70, low 70 seems to be not bad, I guess. They had Phil the Thrill, Johnny Toes, yes I know Taves, Landis Cog, Petrangelo, Burns, Broussard, Sanford, Yandel. Yeah, these guys have quite the team, so I can kind of understand. Even they had, what? They even got Rista Linen down here? Holy crap, yeah, they did have a really good team. Who'd they have in net? They had Flurry. All right, well, that explains everything. Talbot went... Their backup went 18-2-0 and 0 
with three shutouts, a 926, and a 213. Best backup in the league. Well, let's go to the playoff tree briefly here. And there you guys have it. So that was the skating. I was about to say shooting. No, that was the skating draft, okay? So worked out a lot better than the physical draft. I'm going to go catch the third period of that game. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you later.